Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a really cool limited edition Oris Big Crown lent in by my good friend Robert of the Random Rob channel. Now uh, you'll notice that this watch is on a really cool bund strap and I think it just takes the watch up to the next level. I love the way this looks. And throughout the video, I'm going to be showing it on uh, the factory leather straps on a German made Stabe mesh. Uh, just because I want to show you guys how versatile this piece is. I think it's a strap monster. And I'll begin by placing some dimensions here on the screen. Very nice dimensions, just shy of 40 millimeters in diameter and just shy of uh, 12 millimeters in overall height, which makes the watch very wearable, very comfortable on wrist. And just the way the lugs kind of uh, sweep down and then you have your, your bezel here, your textured bezel, and then your domed crystal, that just, I don't know, it looks awesome and it just has a nice, uh, nice flow to it. And you'll notice that on my 7.25 inch wrists, uh, it just has a really nice fit. And I like the fact that this is um, a pointer date. So the, the, the dial just ends up looking very symmetrical, very easy to read. Uh, but yet when you want to locate the date, you can do so at a glance. That's done on uh, the red tipped hand that goes out and touches the outer ring here, just beyond that railroad track. So uh, taking a look at this dial on a macro level, we can see a nice, pleasant, pale green. Uh, I mean, it's not super saturated. There is definitely some gray tones to it. And I really like the contrast between the white and the green. You can see very crisp printing, nice fonts here. And I love the polished cathedral style handset. Just looks beautiful. It ties in really well with this coin edging uh, that's also found on your large crown or your big crown over at the three o'clock position, which you can see is also signed. The watch carries a lot of polish on the sides of the case and a nice brushing on the top of, uh, of the lugs there. So very attractive looking piece, especially with that crystal. You can see ever so slight um, blue sheen from the anti-reflective treatment on the underside of the crystal. Doesn't quite take out all reflections as you can see here, but it, it definitely helps cut down a little bit on the haze and we keep the visual interest from uh, some of those muted reflections. So uh, the movement in here is a what, what, or, what Oris calls the 754 caliber, which is a Salita base here that has the classic red rotor, a 38 hour power reserve, 26 joules, and does uh, tick at 28,800 beats per hour. Now I will say that that's, that's really the knock that I have with Oris with their watches because they're very well made, very nice design. It's an original brand, it has history, you know, over a hundred years of history, but they're using uh, almost exclusively Salita calibers and they don't do a whole lot to them other than put their red rotor on. So I don't think that they quite uh, carry the value proposition as well as they could if they were upgrading ETAs and such because this watch retails for $2,000 at that price, I definitely want an upgraded and regulated ETA branded movement. So that's really my only criticism with this piece. Uh, I think it's a very fun watch, very enjoyable to wear, very attractive. Carries the vintage vibes very well, especially on this Bund strap. And uh, overall, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with this watch. Very grateful uh, to Robert for lending this one in, letting me spend a little time with this uh, because it's pretty sweet. So uh, if you have any questions about the watch or, or anything else, please let me know. You can let me know in the comments section or you can reach out via email. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.